Bom dia! Good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. And for the newcomers, my name is Didi Tayutu, also known as the guy that went all in after selling his house and literally everything else he owned with his family. We started traveling the world and now coming to you from rainy Portugal. Normally the sun shines, today it will rain. In today's video, really cool Bitcoin charts. I found a chart that is going to predict exactly what we could see in Bitcoin the next couple of months. Yes, also year, so also the next couple of weeks. It's a, I need to watch the road guys. And I know it's not safe to drive and hold a selfie stick with a telephone, but you know, you need to do something for your followers. But these charts, really cool. I never saw this chart before. You must see this Bitcoin chart. Of course, also talking about e-gold because I mentioned them uh, many times before in the videos. I even shared with you guys that we bought them in September and we bought a little bit more in November. And then in the blockchain slash news part, we are going to talk about President Trump. We are going to talk about Malta. We are going to talk about the secret token that will make you probably very happy. And of course, a little bit talking about Binance. So make sure you watch the complete video because I'm also doing a cool announcement in the family part. Enjoy the video, guys. Bam! But I need to pick up a package at the post office. And let's first start with picking up a package at the postal office. They tried to deliver it at my home, but we weren't home, so I need to pick it up now. Very excited. This is probably my first Christmas gift, and mostly when these packages arrive, and I don't expect them, they are sent by some kind of company or whatever. So exciting to see what is in this package. So let's drive to the Lagos City T Postal Office to pick up the package. seconds terrible weather guys it's raining I don't know I hope I don't need to walk too far I think I see something with CTT over there not too far like 100 meters let's go and check it states Banco CTT maybe it's like bank and a postal office or something let's see Lagos looks really different when it's raining guys Check. just picked up the package guys this one didn't fit in the mailbox it's from BTC movement. I think it's Bitcoin movement. BTC movement from Latvia. Exciting to see what is in this. Let's wait till I get home, guys, so the kids can unwrap it because they always want to unwrap the packages. I just uh, it feels feels like something heavy with clothes or something. Don't know. Let's see. I will drive home now and let the kids handle it because they love to unpack that side of stuff and I think I will film inside the house today because guys it keeps raining and it looks like it's going to rain all day so I will probably film the YouTube video inside the house on some beautiful areas again in the house 
you know, I will make fun with it. No beach, no mountain, no beautiful area, just our simple house. So let's uh, quickly drive home guys because I'm getting wet. This is the, we call this the Mercado Municipal. It's there since 1924 and the Mercado Municipal, they sell all these kinds of fresh fish. You can see all the fresh fish. It's not busy at the moment, but it's all fresh over here. You see? It's all fresh. It is the fresh market where you go every day to get your fresh food. Not getting any food, guys. Getting home. It's rainy. I hate rain. I hate this kind of weather. It makes me want to watch Netflix all day. <laughs> That is why I never stay in, the, in rainy countries because I would only be watching Netflix. Uh, I don't want that. I want to live life outside of the doors. Always at the car. Let's go home. I don't know. It's a package. Somebody needs to open it. Me. But there's probably something for me. But you can open it. Okay. <coughs> Wait. Yeah. Is that to the kribbelhoest? How do you say kribbelhoest in uh, English? Yeah. Can I open? Mm. Fresh orange juice for the kribbelhoest. Yeah, you can open. Is a hoodie. Whoa! Open it. That one is cool! Check how they wrote Bitcoin. And on the back? And the back also. Bitcoin. We got still something in. Still more? Serious? And more. <laughs> what is that? I think it is a hat. <coughs> it is bit. I don't know. Yeah. BTC movement. Bitcoin movement. Beautiful blue color and good quality head. Yeah. Wow. 100% organic cotton. That's a cool one. More. More? No. Yeah. Serious? Mm -hmm. The people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who do. Welcome to the Bitcoin movement. It's small for you. No, that's not too small. It is a S. S. Then that probably is for one of the girls. And I like that one. It's I like a football shirt. Girl. Really cool. One more. one more. No. Bitcoin movement. Thanks for all the stuff. And I'm going to test it all, of course. And yes, wear it. Starting, of course, with the hoodie because it's raining today. So I will wear the hoodie today. I love the t-shirt as well. And I love the hat. I will, I will get dressed now. I will get dressed. Daddy, How do you we, do we bought twin shirt for mommy and for you. Oh, we can walk around like twins. So how do you do this in TikTok? If I jump and then after I land, I get the clothes on? Yeah. Is that the TikTok way? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to jump now. And then when I land, I will be wearing these beautiful clothes. Jess is going to help me. Okay, one, two, three. Whoa, that's how the clothes look. Thanks, Bitcoin movement, and it's a honor to join the Bitcoin movement. Bam! Wearing my Bitcoin movement swag, guys. Let's start with the video today. I'm filmed inside because it's raining outside. I don't feel like going out. I already went out to the postal office. That was enough in the rain. First part, I'm going to film in Juna's bathroom. Let's, kick, let's take a look at Juna's bathroom. I think it will be a mess. It is always a mess. It is always a mess. I need to put it a little bit silent, June, mm -hmm. because I'm filming my video today everywhere in the house. So the first part I will film in your bathroom, very short. So they will see you in the mirror, probably. Can you see Juna in the mirror? She's so beautiful. What are you doing? What is this? So I get girls. So I get girls? Curls. 
Curls. Really cool. The first part from Juna's bathroom, guys, is about e-gold. I told you many times about e-gold. We bought already in September. We bought a little bit more in November. It was Elrond Network. I told you, Polkadot, Chainlink, Elrond, all these projects I've been talking about many times in the past. And I bought Elrond. I think it's an echo a little bit here, but let's see how the sound does. And yes, did you see what happened to Elrond this morning? Bam! It exploded. It's already around 24 US dollar. And I think we can even reach the $30 target. And then probably we will see a dip. So if you're not in Elrond, buy the next dip. Because this project is going to be big, in my opinion. Bam! Let's go to the next place in the house where Juna is not preparing for the day. You like my new sweater? Wait, check this out. Yeah, it's cool. Bitcoin. It was sent by the Bitcoin movement. It's a company that makes all kinds of swag. BTC movement. Yeah. But the colors are really cool. Mm, I like it. Yeah. It's mine. Okay. Stay off. Okay. It's not yours. Okay. Don't touch it. Yep. Yeah. Or you need to buy me a Bitcoin. No. One Bitcoin. No. Two Bitcoin. No. Zero point one Bitcoin. No. For a sweater. It's a beautiful sweater. No? Okay, I like that you use the colors yellow and red. So the Bitcoin color and the red of the negative market. Are we going down with Bitcoin? Hopefully, Juna's things are not predicting the market. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Next room. And I will turn on the music again for her. Oh. Welcome to the club. That's why she has these things. Because she thinks she's a disco club. Ah, this is what my wife is doing at the moment. She's tagging people. Oh, black. Ah. <laughs> I cannot say that loud because I think it's for Christmas. <laughs> oh, she will not listen. Ah, okay. She <laughs> Maybe we'll go to Jody's room. Are you doing school? No. Okay, can I film the second part of the video here? I'm filming in the house, just with you in the background. Because uh, it's raining outside. Yeah. What is it that you're doing? Making a skull on my hand, but it's not working the way I want it. But why do you make a skull on your hand? Because I'm bored. I because it's raining outside, but please don't do it on the sheets. No. Because mom was already cleaning the sheets with some stupid stuff. Yeah. Like vinegar and soap and you know what. Blue is okay. Let's, I, I'm going to film in the blue, okay? This is really cool. We are blue. And maybe Joey can do the special effects. Maybe we can change the colors now and then. Now we are in the blue room and probably we'll change to another color. And in this blue room, I'm going to share the first chart with you guys. This chart. Bam! This is a real cool chart because you can see the cell walls in Bitcoin. You can see there is a lot of cell volume around 19,500 to 20,000 US dollar per Bitcoin. You can see that yellow area above the top. That is a sell wall. These are the sell orders that people put in to sell Bitcoin when we reach 19,500, 600, 700, all the way up to 20,000 US dollar. This is the resistance we are fighting. We need to break this sell wall. Can I have a happy color, Julie? Bam! We are in the pinkish world. This is the happy place. You know, when you have these pinkish glasses, you see it like this. <laughs> but that wall we need to break. If we are able to break that 20K sell wall, then we can take it to the next level, 21K, 22K, maybe even 24K before Christmas. That would be an awesome Christmas present, of course. But let's see. Don't, but let's see. Because if we get rejected by this sell wall, we can again see a dip all the way down to the 17,000 US dollar area. Or like I said yesterday, we have the week moving average around 14,000 US dollar. We can even fall all the way, all the way down to that. But in my opinion, we are too bullish. Too many people are buying. So 17K to 18K is in, my, is, in my opinion, the biggest area of support right now. And that was everything in the pink room. Can we have one more color? Bam, orange. I think this is the perfect Bitcoin color. Okay, when we have the perfect Bitcoin color, I do, do, need to do the next part as well in this video. Let's take a look at this plan B chart and if we are still like on track. Bam! On this chart, guys, you can see 
the plan B chart, stock to flow model, you can see that we created a lot of red dots at the moment and that we are slowly starting to move from this bottom white line up to the top by the white line this next target of bitcoin around 100,000 us dollar every red dot is higher and higher and i think if you look very closely the last red dot is even turning a little bit orange just like the beautiful orange in jolie's room and if we turn orange then you look to the left on the charts and then you can see what happened when red turned into orange and that is exactly what you can see, the acceleration of the bull run. So let's see if this next month close will be orange. And then we know that it will take another to the next all time high in this bull run. Now we can go to another room. Jolie, which room do I go now? Um, Juna has to make a... I already did, Juna. Jessa? To Jessa's room. I'm going to Jessa's room. Bam! Make the light come up. Yes, in your room. I'm going to film in your room and I'm going to film on the bug bed. Bug bed. Jess's room is the only room with an animal. Is your animal still alive? Uh, yes. It should be alive. I don't see it. This could be cool if I film it from there. Yeah. Okay. Filming. I'm making my daily video today at home because it's raining. Yeah, if you take your hands around, we show it as well. A beautiful place, guys, to film some more because I'm sitting on Jessa's stairway to heaven. And if you refer the top of the bunk bags to heaven, but she sleeps mostly down or in our bed. Yes, yeah, she still loves to sleep in between us. And my wife always tells me, Didi, just enjoy it because she, because she's the last one. And you know, before you know it, she's too old as well and she won't sleep with us as well. So just enjoy it. I try to enjoy it, but I also want to enjoy some other stuff with my wife. So yeah, Jessica cannot sleep at our place every night. That is why she has four beds. You can switch between these four beds over here every time when she wants. I sit here on the stairway to heaven but let's now take a chart. This is what I refer to the chart I didn't seen yet. This chart is really exciting because this chart shows you where we can go with Bitcoin. So let's take a look at this chart. Bam! Wow, this is like really tight. Bam! In this chart, first we start with looking to the left. In the left, guys, we can see the 2015 to 2017 bull run. We can see the moment, you can see this red line, that we reached the previous all-time high in 2017. This moment, we tested this previous all-time high for the first time. This is this first circle, you can see it, the first test of the previous all-time high. Then, the second test we did of this previous all-time high, that was the moment when we broke the all-time high, we went up, and then we formed a bull trap, we came down again, so a lot of people were afraid, and they started to sell, 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 because, oh no, we are going down, that's what we refer to as a bull trap. And then after that movement, we saw this bam, huge explosion to 20,000 US dollar in Bitcoin in December 2017. Now, if we zoom in today, we can see the same thing happening. We first tested the previous all time high. That was the first test, the first circle. Now we are about to test the second time this previous all time high. And the second time we test this all-time high, we should be breaking it if we would come, if we would repeat the movement we saw the last bull run. Then the second part could take us all the way to 24k. Again, form this bull trap, bam, fall down. Everybody starts to sell again, and then you can see in these light gray uh, can and these light gray candles where Bitcoin would explode to if we copy the previous bull run movement. So if we repeat what we saw the last time in 2017, we would go all the way up to 100K, even 280,000 US dollar per Bitcoin if we just copy the movement Bitcoin made after testing the previous all-time high two times, breaking it, bear trap, bam, up to 100K in 2021 or even 280K like this chart is showing us. Positive chart. Let's go to the next room because Jessa is not showing us the hamster. Just, Just show it. The people want to see your hamster. Oh, it is not a hamster in English? See, there. I'm not going to do it with you on my hamster. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> ah, there he is. 
Ah, that's Jess's hamster. He wants to play. He's hide and seek. Hide and seek. Hide and seek. He's a fat pig. No, he's a hamster. <laughs> he's a nice one. What's his name? I call him sometimes Puffy. Puffy? I call him Satoshi. Goodbye, Satoshi. Which room should I go now, Jess? Uh, Juna room. I already been to Juna and Julie. Uh, your room. Oh. Then we will go to my room. Ooh, it's warm now. She's saying something? <laughs> Did you hear something? Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, nobody listens ever to me. So all the dogs are over. <sighs> oh. Oh, no, no, it's... Bam! Next video will be here. Oh. Arcade okay, play yes. game over there. My favorite picture over there. Let's do the rest of the video here. That were all the charts today, guys. So let's now jump into the blockchain parts. The part where I tell you about the news that I read this morning while drinking a beautiful and tasteful cup of coffee. Let's jump into the blockchain news. BAM! The first news guys, President Trump is considering to pardon Ross Ulbricht from the Silk Road, which means he wants to set Ross free. And we have been fighting to get Ross free for a long time now because he just created a marketplace where people could spend Bitcoin. And yes, they could buy illegal stuff as well, but you know, he didn't know that people was going to trade illegal stuff on his marketplace. It's the same like eBay, you know, if the, if the founder of eBay starts to accept Bitcoin payments and then some people trade illegal shit, the founder can't do anything about it. So in my opinion, Ross should be free. So President Trump, if you watch this video, man, set the guy free. He did a lot of time already. He's just a cool Bitcoin guy that knew that Bitcoin was going to change the world because now all your banks in the US are becoming part of Bitcoin as well. So why still keep somebody in prison if Bitcoin is not illegal at all? It is not level of level level marketing. It's going to be the 21st century of gold or a peer-to-peer -peer cash all over the world. So please let Ross free. Bam! Let's go to the bedroom where all the magic happens. Where I don't know how to put on the lights. Here, damn. That's the light, eh? Our bedrooms. And yes, this is the proof that Jessa still sleeps in our bed now and day because she still has her fluffy animals on our bed. And I don't hope this is a sign that there will be a bearish movement in Bitcoin because Jessa has set the bear straight. So I don't hope that is a sheep because we are definitely not sheeple. So I will turn this bear around like this. We don't want to have bearish time. And like this, we don't want to have sheep. Gone, gone, gone. Room, guys, we are going to talk about Malta. Why about Malta? Because Malta wanted to be this new blockchain island, you know, this new crypto island. It didn't succeed. And why didn't it succeed completely? Because a lot of banks don't want to co-op with crypto and blockchain companies. And if you want to attract all blockchain and crypto companies to your island and create a blockchain crypto island, then those banks should allow these companies to open a bank account. Do you think? I am not agreeing with this, of course. You know, I know this is the reason why it's not turning into a blockchain crypto island. Aren't Bitcoin and blockchain the tools to change the monetary system into a system where we don't need banks anymore? So why would we even care if this island banks of Malta are accepting us as Bitcoin and blockchain companies as clients? We don't need them. I think the banks are like the horse and wagon in a motorized world, you know? We don't need those banks. That's the power of Bitcoin and blockchain. So why is everybody complaining that Malta does the, the banks in Malta don't support the crypto revolution? We don't need those banks to change the world. We need a community to change the world. We need to believe in the tools of Bitcoin and blockchain and just use them to change the monetary system so that we don't depend on centralized institutes like banks. That's exactly the point of Bitcoin and blockchain. So screw the Malta banks and just do your business without those banks and just with Bitcoin accounts. And if you find it hard to onboard people into the new industry you are working on because you think you need to still need a bank, then teach them how to get the cash out of their banking accounts and how to transfer cash into the Bitcoins or into your company that is accepting Bitcoins. My opinion, and maybe yes, I am like, ah, oh, you did it, man, take it easy. It's nice the banks accept Bitcoin now and they're onboarding us and they're uh, giving access to people and uh, you can buy Bitcoins and you know, you can hold your Bitcoins at a bank. 
Exactly. If you hold your Bitcoins at a bank, you cannot send them from there to another Bitcoin wallet, which is exactly is the whole is destroying the whole Bitcoin mindset. So I don't think we should be depending on the horse on wagon banks in the motorized world that we are living already. Screw them. That's history. We are building a new monetary system. We don't need them anymore. When are you all going to start to realize this? Build this new monetary system without those banks. Bam! Next video, guys. Hmm, where can I record this one? On oh, my favorite toilet in the house. Let's go to my favorite toilet in the house. My favorite toilet in the house is this one. This is how I shit. <laughs> So I will take a short video here because the sound is going. But Binance just announced that they are going to send their Binance Visa cards now also to European customers. So all customers in Europe can now apply for the Binance Visa card and then you know use the Visa card all over the world at stores and places that accept Visa. You can then pay with your Binance Visa card that's connected to your wallets in Binance. So we'll be transferring your Bitcoin, Ethereum, maybe even Litecoin. I don't know which currencies they exactly support, but you will be transferring those currencies into the fiat currency that that store wants to have from you. Pretty cool news. Let's go to the next room because I'm getting crazy of the sound over here. And it's pretty hot with my Bitcoin movement head. Bam! I need one more move. Which room can I do? Ooh. Yours? You can, can I have, have one? I can have the, the smallest one. Yeah. <laughs> you, you see that our kids learn what sharing and scaring means? Just a shares. <laughs> Gone in two seconds. Um, last part, I will film outside below my porch so you can see that it's raining. The last news of the video, guys, is about secret tokens. It is a small news article, but I think it can have a huge influence on the future of cryptocurrency. Because this is the first token that is combining the programmability of the ERC20 tokens with the privacy of Zcash or Monero. So now you can program an ERC20 token, for example, the family token, and then you can combine it with the privacy of Zcash or Monero which makes your currency and all the transactions of your currency completely private. So all the interactions with your token will be encrypted and only the holder and the receiver and the sender can see who sent the tokens, etc. So this is a really small step that could turn out really big in the future because if all these ERC20 tokens now will be able to use the privacy features that we see in Zcash and Monero, that can change the game. Because then we combine that with all the decentralized exchanges and we have the complete privacy back on spending our tokens or spending our cryptos. Really cool news and I will dig deeper into this because I didn't read everything yet about them. I just saw the news article. So we'll read some more and then get back to this in the next video, guys. I will keep you up to date. I thought it was funny to film inside. Show you my toilet. And when we are talking, guys, about the family, let's jump into the family part. Bam! This part. This part, we talk about family. The Bitcoin family is evolving from a five-headed family into a 1,000-headed family already on the Discord server. Many members talking daily about Bitcoin, blockchain, and life. And the community is growing day by day. I'm incentivizing people there to help others by paying them in family tokens and you can exchange your family tokens for dollars, for Ethereum, for whatever currency you want on Uniswap. As a five-headed family, yesterday guys, we did something really cool. It involved the sea and it involved Bitcoins and it involved wind. If you want to know what it is, then please make sure you watch Gokstein Media's episode this Friday, Saturday. It depends every time when they get it ready. Sometimes they launch on Friday, sometimes on Saturday, because they are in the US. So that would be the Saturday for me, still the Friday for them. That's why. <laughs> but it's going to be a really cool episode. We had a lot of fun yesterday and you will see this on this video. So make sure you tune in to that video tomorrow. You can see how we convert more and more people to accept Bitcoins, but also do really cool stuff by paying with Bitcoin. Really cool episode, Friday at Gokstein Media. Also guys, I have this secret announcement I want to make and I think I will launch it tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to share with you something really cool 
that was created by Lore Olivas. I already talked about Lore two times in the videos. I'm telling you there is a secret, there is a surprise coming. I will share it with you tomorrow. And yes, I'm going to share it tomorrow with all the members in the Discord channel. So all of you in the Discord channel, you will see what I want to share with you tomorrow. And then on Friday, probably, I will share it with the rest of the world by using it on social media, etc. But I think you will really like it. And this is the first surprise I have for you. And there will be another surprise that I'm working on with one of the Bitcoin family members that will be a kick-ass surprise as, as well, but probably in the new year. And then there is one more thing, guys. I told you many times before, I am going to do a really cool giveaway around Christmas to the most active Bitcoin members in the community. So the most active members in the Discord channel, I'm going to reward you for being active by giving you a really cool surprise. But stay tuned, I will share some hints in every video from now so you will see what it is that I am going to give you as a surprise. That was everything for today, guys. If you liked the video, give the video a thumbs up subscribe to our channel, share with your friends and family, hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment as I love to reply to your comments. Thanks for watching again, and always remember to zoom out in crypto and to zoom in that life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day, as that is exactly what life should be about. Thanks for watching, and hopefully see you tomorrow again. Bam!